So, are you just hanging out this summer, super bored, don't know what to do with your life? Today, I have some really fun craft project ideas for you, but here's the thing. I've seen a lot of videos like this where they give you a bunch of ideas, but each one is so simple that 20 minutes later, you're just like, well, I made the thing, now I'm bored again. So, for this video, I came up with projects that are easy to do, but they're probably gonna take you all day to finish. But before we get into it, I just wanna remind you guys about my brand new mailing list. I'm sending out a weekly newsletter about all the different projects I'm working on and some sneak peeks of what's coming up next. So, if you wanna be a part of that, I'll put the link to sign up right down below. Oh, and subscribe if you're new here, like this video, just kinda do everything. You guys know the drill by now. All right, now that we're done with that self-promo, our first project are these fun triangle magnets. This was inspired by Meg's geometric Christmas tree video over on HGTV Handmade. So I took her pattern and I scaled it down so that I could fit nine triangles on each page. I'll have this pattern linked right down below, so go ahead and print it out onto colored cardstock. Then cut out each of the shapes. Now, do you see all of these lines? we're actually going to flip it over and score them on the other side. Once you have all of those lines scored, make your folds and you can see the shape starting to form. Now you could use a glue stick to glue it together, but I found that it went faster with wood glue, just like we used for the paper craft unicorn the other week. Just apply some wood glue with a toothpick to each of the tabs and fold the triangle into shape. Then repeat that for however many you want to make in whatever colors you want to use. To make the magnetic, you can buy 100 small magnets for $10 on Amazon, and I'll link the ones that I'm using right down below. Use some E6000 to glue a magnet to the back of each triangle, and let them dry. And then you can stick them up onto your fridge or your locker or any other magnetic surface, and it is so fun rearranging them into different designs and patterns. Patterns. It's so simple, but if you make enough of them, they really make a big impact. Next, we're going to be making another room decoration, this cute mini tassel garland, which is made out of, wait for it, duct tape. So to make a tassel, cut two pieces of tape that are four inches long and stick them right on top of each other. Then trim the ends and trim about a quarter inch off of the bottom, and you should have a shape that looks like this. Now cut fringe into it, leaving about a quarter inch intact at the top. The fringe doesn't have to be perfect, just try to make it fairly even. Now you'll need an eye pin, which you can get in the jewelry section of the craft store. Use wire cutters to you cut it down, then cut a small piece of tape and have it ready to go, and cut another small piece of tape to tape down the eye pin to the top corner of the fringe. Now is the fun part. Go ahead and roll up the fringe into a little teeny tiny tassel. Wrap your small piece of tape around the top of the tassel, and then kind of fluff out the bottom. And now you have made a tiny tassel out of duct tape. Make as many of these as you want in as many different colors as you want, and then grab some string. Tie the string onto the eye pin of each tassel, trying to keep them evenly spaced. And that's it. Once you've tied them all on, you can hang it up, and I think it is the perfect summertime decoration. Okay guys, this next project took me four freaking ever, but I think it came out so cute. We're going to make this rug out of pom-poms. You'll want to start by making 
a pom-pom, obviously, take some yarn and wrap it around something like this ruler, which is two inches wide. It doesn't have to be a ruler, you could cut a piece of cardboard to be about the same size. So once you've wrapped a bundle that is about this big, cut the yarn and also cut another piece of yarn. Then slide the bundle off of the ruler and place it right on top of that second piece of yarn. Tie the ends into a really tight knot and then use scissors to cut through all of the loops on the top and bottom. This part is so satisfying, let me tell you. Oh, and make sure that you're hanging onto the ends from that knot that you tied, because you don't wanna cut those. Now kind of fluff all of the ends upwards away from the knot, and you can give it a little haircut to make it more of a round shape. And that's how you make a pom-pom. Once again, repeat that over and over, and over and over again. So okay, we have all these pom-poms, but how do you make them into a rug? Well, let me tell you, you're going to need a rug pad. The one that I bought is two feet by three feet, and if you're super bored, you can totally make enough pom-poms to cover that entire thing. But I didn't have quite that much free time, so I decided to cut mine down into a circle. So now just take each pom-pom, Poke the ends from the knot through the rug pad and tie them together on the bottom of the rug. Try to really get the pom-poms tightly packed and right on top of each other so that your rug is as fluffy as possible and you don't have any empty spaces. Keep doing this until you've covered the entire rug. And now you can put it by your bed and have a nice fluffy rug to step on every morning. I'd recommend not walking on it in shoes because you don't want it to get all dirty, but if you do need to clean it, hand wash it with gentle detergent so that you don't ruin all of your hard work making this super cute rug. But okay, we've made enough room decorations, now let's make some keychains. I posted this photo of some Perler bead keychains that I made the other week, and you guys wanted to know how I did it. Trust me, it's super easy. Honestly, the hardest part is just deciding what image you want to make. My little trick is to go to Pinterest and search for perler bead patterns, and then hundreds of different ideas will pop up that you can copy for your own keychain. I searched for perler bead cupcake, and I found these adorable designs. And I think it is so relaxing to just sit there placing your beads just right until you've recreated the image. Once you have the beads in place, lay down a dish towel and warm up your iron. Place the ironing paper that came with the beads on top and then iron them until the top layer is nice and melted. Once it's cooled off a bit, take it off the pegboard and flip it over. Iron the other side until it's melted as well. And then once it's cooled down completely, use a thumbtack to poke a hole into one of the beads. Thread a jump ring into it, and then you can attach more jump rings and a keychain. And you're done! I think this is so cute, and it would be a really fun activity to do with friends in front of the air conditioning when it's too hot to go outside. So I hope you guys liked those projects, and I hope they cure your summertime boredom for at least a couple days. One summer, when I was really bored, I put together a 9,000 piece jigsaw puzzle, so, you know, that's an option too. If that wasn't enough to hold you over, and you want even more summertime DIY projects, I actually put together an entire playlist for you. You can learn how to make this paper craft unicorn, these hot glue pineapple keychains, this monogram made out of coffee stirrers, and so much more. I'm gonna link that playlist right down below. So remember to sign up for my mailing list if you want a sneak peek of everything I'm working on next. And if you watched all the way to the end of the video, leave a comment with the words flamingo party and then I'll know that you watched the entire thing and you can just imagine me giving you the most epic high five that has ever existed in the entire world. Happy crafting! I'll see you guys next time!